Good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to Evolution of Pro Wrestling. I am your host, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And I'm Jay, the Wiz Kid of Pro Wrestling. Hey! What an introduction. Thank you, wrestling fans, for joining us as always. Um, before we could get any further, um, this past week, a legendary superstar passed away. Um, it was kind of a shock to the wrestling world. Um, Animal from the Legion of Doom. From the Evolution of Pro Wrestling uh, team, myself, my colleague Jaden, and my producer and director Yesenia, um, we sent our deepest, deepest condolences to the family of Laurinaitis, uh, John Laurinaitis and his family, Joe. Um, he will be sadly missed. He was, an, he was a legend with Hawk, Legion of Doom, best tag team of all time. So. Isn't, they will definitely, tag team yeah, too. no, they will definitely be missed. Yes, so deeply. Um, so that being said, yes, God rest his soul. Yes, you're absolutely right. And yep, that's right. So, Jaden. Yeah. Today's topic is a topic that we've been trying to avoid for a little while, but now. It's finally come. It is time because you you see when I, when I mean avoid is I'm what I'm meaning is the topic was too hot. It was. It was too so much. So now we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Jaden, tell them what our topic is about. Our topic is who had the better submission. Who was the better technical wrestler? Who was the better one between these two? Bret Hart or Kurt Angle? I, is that what I heard? You heard is it that right. what I heard? Hello, you Jessica. Heard. Welcome, welcome. You heard, hey, Jessica. Wow. You heard Bret, Bret Hart, Hart versus Kurt, Kurt Angle, Angle in a submission match. match. Wow. You heard that right. That's, that's... Two uh, of the, one of the top two, or if not, the top two submission, the best submission people of that's, all time. Wow. You know Kurt Angle with his ankle lock and you know Bret Hart with his sharpshooter. Dangerous. That's that's no, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Like Bret Hart, Bret Hart pretty much he debuted in 1978 in professional wrestling. He was trained by Stu Hart. You know, Stu Hart trained him, and he became phenomenal. He became part of the Hart Foundation, and they just went from there. You know, with their manager Jimmy Hart, um, and then they, you know, he turned um, he turned face. You know what I mean? He went on a solo career, and. It was it was interesting to see his career go, and uh, Brian says I'm sorry I have to go with the Malinkos Texas Cloverleaf best submission in my eyes. Well, that you're absolutely right. You're ab you're absolutely see, right. I don't know who that is. So well, that no, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know. The, the, the Malenko was one of the best submission holders of all time. Now here's my question, Brian. Do you think that D. Malenko can out wrestle Kurt Angle in his prime. Kurt Angle, are we talking bald Kurt Angle in his prime or hair Kurt Angle? Uh, wow, that, that's a good question. Because he was both in his he prime was both in either in his way. Prime. I mean, he was bald, you know, towards the ending of his career, but he was bald in his prime too. And he had hair in his prime at a point. So which one is we talking about? Uh, that's what I'm saying. So it's it's tough to call. It is. It's really tough to call. You know, when you got when you got stuff like that. Like, where where do you see a match with Dean Malenko and Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle? Give us your thought on, on, on that fans. That that's a that, that's a way to start a show. That Hot. Is a way to, that is. That's good, Brian. That was that was good. That was good. Mm -hmm. Um, Christopher Brown says I'm going with either version of Kurt Angle. Several reasons. Oh man, okay, Wayne says hear both. Those. Let's let's hear them. You said several reasons. I want to hear them. Yeah. I want to hear the several the several reasons why. But be but before we hear those several reasons, guys, please feel free to share, like, comment. Bring everybody in. This, this time topic we're on is our hot. Like page, we're on our like page. We're not just, on our just bring page. them in. We're on the yes. like page. Share our link all over your social Every media and bring way. everybody in here. Let's continue Every with this. One. So, um, Brian said it would definitely be something to watch. Hard to tell. You're absolutely right. I agree. Because yo, th these are two men, especially Dean Malenko. You know, I'm surprised that Dean Malenko hasn't even been inducted in the Hall of Fame yet. You know what I'm saying? Like Dean Malenko, th he was called the Man of a Thousand Holds. He had a lot of technical wrestling. Um, 
And when you look at it, it's like, damn. Why is why was this man never um, world heavyweight champion? You know what I'm saying? But then you see Kurt Angle. You know the man wrestled with a broken freaking neck, as he always says. <laughs> and but he became he, did it. he became WWE champion in a short period of time because he worked and he won, up the, there. he won the European title. He won the world heavyweight title, the Intercontinental title. You we know can't what I'm forget, saying? He's also an Olympic gold medalist. Yeah. An actual Olympic yeah, gold medalist. Yeah, he's not joking about that. He's literally literally an Olympic gold medalist. He he wasn't calling bluff when he really said that. So yeah, that's a that's a super that's a super wrestler all in one right there. That's a really good wrestler. And he, you know, he, when he hits the ankle slam, everybody thinks it's over. But when it's really it's really over when he gets you in that ankle lock. When, no, the ankle especially that, especially prime Kurt Angle. Once that ankle lock listen, is in the tight, ankle lock, it's over. It, it's the ankle lock has has be has defeated many men. That's dangerous. Many it men. Look, and one of those men hard. has been Brock Lesnar. You know. Good. So it, it's it's tough to call. You know, with Dean Malenko and and Kurt Angle. So, but. I'm not gonna lie though, some people do sleep on that finisher because it's just holding an ankle. Believe it or not, it hurts. It can get, just like my dad said, it can get the biggest and toughest opponents in the ring on the oh, ground. Oh, it sure tackle. can. It sure can. Because that is really dangerous. But we're over here talking about Kurt Angle. Let's get into Bret Hart. Well, hold on. We got a comment um, from Christopher Brown. Hmm. He says, um, number one, Kurt Angle is more willing to to use more than what than one submission, where Brett was obsessed with only using the sharpshooter and his submission. Ninety nine percent of the time, he very rarely went outside his comfort zone when it came to his submissions. Number two, Kurt was a hell of a lot more liked in the locker room than Brett ever was. Um, I have to agree with him in those uh, comments. I have to. I, I have to too. agree with him. That's I agree. um. That's um. I heard uh, from what I heard, a lot of people didn't get along. No, with Brett. Brett. Brett you know, you, okay, because you know, Brett was unfortunately to some people he was egotistical. You know, he didn't know how to properly carry himself in the back. In, so in he backstage. basically had a big alter. Ego he had it oh, exactly ego. because okay. he was WWE champion at the time. He was the he was a flag bearer of WWE at the time. So don't get me wrong. The man at times can be nice. You know, he did what he did. But at times he was just a jerk, you know, because he let that alter ego go. And that's why him and Shawn Michaels never got along. You know, him and Shawn Michaels clashed a lot, and but they had excellent matches. That's oh, what made it even better. It that they was so it was so personal that it made it good. It made it so good, you know? But what if we were to pair Bret Hart and Eddie Guerrero? Mm. What do you guys think of that? Oh, Encyclopedia threw you a curveball. Yeah, you did, and I was supposed to be the whiz kid, and I don't even know how to answer this. Well, mm. what do you guys think, man? Give, give give us your thoughts, Eddie Guerrero and Brett the Hitman Hart. What do you guys think about that? Wow, I'm not even gonna lie. I have never seen Eddie Guerrero's submission. Out of all of his matches that I've seen, mm -hmm. I've never seen a submission from him. No, Eddie Guerrero has never had a submission. Okay, but remember, just making sure. No, but that's what all I'm right. saying. Remember, like Christopher Brown said, Bret Hart had the submission, but he never came out of his comfort zone. So, and Eddie oh, Guerrero wait a minute. is not I, a technical I, I, wrestler either. He's more of a high flyer, so it's going to be hard for Bret Hart to fight someone like that because mm -hmm. Bret Hart's more of a technical wrestler. Technical wrestlers don't get off of their feet as much as you see high flyers and things go like that so if I would have to say to be honest I'll choose Eddie Guerrero to win that to okay. be honest I'll choose Eddie okay that's interesting well let's see what the uh, fans say let me see let me read these comments here All right, so we have Christopher Brown says, I'll do you one better. Bret Hart versus Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, the, the yes. Oof, I think that's, that's, a, that's very interesting. Finisher. That's very interesting. I mean, submission. 
Uh, Jessica Hoffman says Eddie, hands down. I agree. Be- <laughs> I agree. And uh, Brian says Eddie did use Gory's uh, special sometimes. Yes, he did. He sure did. That submission hold. Listen, Eddie Guerrero and Bret Hart would have been a hell of a match, but Christopher Brown is right. That match with <laughs> Bret Hart and Daniel Bret Hart and Daniel would be an instant classic. That would be. A you know classic. what I mean? And yes, Bret Hart has had some some good matches. You know what I mean? And so has Kurt Angle. But who had a better impact? I don't know. Oh, James Sargent, Hell welcome, brother. The two-time, yeah. two-time wrestling trivia champion is in the house. Oh, man. Brian, your adversary uh, is here. You guys uh, joke. ready to get that title? <laughs> hey, Dad, you're the Wikipedia. He's in, he's, you're the encyclopedia. He's the Wikipedia. Padrino's, he's the Wikipedia. James Sargent is Google. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. James Sargent is Google. So, we we talk, we were talking about Bret Hart and Kurt Angle. Who will win in, in, a, in a submission match in a match period? You know, two perfectly good athletes in the ring. But Jaden, yep. who had a bigger impact in, in professional wrestling? Oh, man. I mean, I get it. You know, Bret Hart had, you know, the bigger impact. I feel, or hold on, let me reword myself. Bret Hart, you know, he, he wasn't really liked in, you know, the backstage or... Well, let, let's, let's just forget about the No, 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 the, I, know, the I know, but this, is, this has something to do with it. This has something to do with the likes. You know, he wasn't really liked. Da, 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 da. We understand that. But he did good in the ring whether people disliked him or not he did something for the company but daniel bryan was liked by fans and you know i'm not saying bret hart wasn't liked by fans but he was daniel bryan was liked by fans daniel bryan you know got along with a few people backstage which will probably give him more chances and daniel bryan you know he was doing absolutely phenomenal when he before he got injured you know he got injured then he came back from his injury and he he went he went in with the bang. Like, he put on an absolute show for everyone. And then we got this miraculous heel turn, which I liked. I didn't like the title that they gave him, which was really weird. But I liked Daniel Bryan's heel character. It fits Daniel Bryan, since Daniel Bryan is always yelling the word yes. He always looks angry. So, well, I'll give we, that uh, one to we got Blake, uh, Blake in the house. Welcome, brother. He says, in a real fight, definitely Brett, but in wrestling, I go Brett. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I think uh, Kurt, Angle Kurt Angle would, would kick the shit out of him. I'm I, sorry. Excuse, I my, excuse my French. I'm sorry. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I, agree. I don't think. I, I, Me yeah. too. I'm sorry. Kurt Angle, he, he's tough, man. Kurt, Kurt Angle's Angle really is tough. Kurt Angle a survivor. He, uh, if you haven't seen that match with him and Shane McMahon, go watch that match. Yeah. That says a lot. Christopher Brown says they both have several memorable moments in WWE history. So trying to say who was more impactful would be hard to judge. The question should be, who has the longest lasting legacy that has stuck in the fans' minds over the years? Yes. Okay, that one would probably be Bret Hart. Um, I, I kind of have a mixture of both. You know, like, oh, okay, you know, like, like, okay, like Bret Hart, Bret Hart came into, into WWE mm-hmm. probably in the maybe the early 80s, something like that, during the Hart Foundation. Then sometime around 1990 or something, he won the Intercontinental title. Then maybe 1994-ish, something like that, he won the world title. Um, he was known. You know, he got into battles. He fought against Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, Undertaker, um, Stone Cold. He's fought these guys. He beat Ric Flair. So um, even the one, two, three kid at the time, X-Pac, gave him a fight for a match, you know. So in my opinion, Brett had that significant time. But Kurt Angle came in, took on the best, Stone Cold, The Rock, Undertaker, Triple H, Rakishi, goes on and on. Like, Rock Lesnar, The Shield. Everyone. He took on everybody. Like He even joined The Shield at one point and fought know? against him. And so gave that's why it's kind of tough to call. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, it's tough to call. Like I, I can't really say who who made an impact because that's, they like that's Christopher Brown says, that he has too but is dangerous. It, it's and it's tough to say who who has more who have the fans more. Yeah, taking a liking to it in the years. I agree. Um. Yes, uh, Blake. I said I, you asked about Brendan versus Eddie. Yes, I said Eddie for that one. 
Oh, so that's I'm sorry, I thought you were mentioning Kurt. But I think Eddie's tough too. Eddie's pretty tough. Eddie. Um James Sargent says Brett was a smaller uh was the first smaller guy to break Vince's mold of big Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. He said obviously my pick would be Kurt, seeing how he is an Olympic gold medalist. Absolutely. I'm not even it's not even that he's an Olympic gold medalist. He just like uh I forgot who said this earlier, but when it's time for Brett to get out of his comfort zone, he doesn't do a really good job of no. that. Kurt Angle, he does what he has to do. You tell him to give him the specific thing, he's gonna do it. Because that's the type of guy Kurt Angle is. And if Kurt Angle was to use the same move set, Kurt Angle does it. Like the angle slam, the suplex, his his lock, his ankle lock, it's all dangerous because now, he uses it the right now way. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think Bret Hart in his prime, you know, when he won the WWE title, mm -hmm. would have been able to beat, um, let's say, Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena? Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I gotta say no. Oh, say why? No. Tell me, tell us why. Tell the fans Not why. Just because John, C that John Cena was my favorite John Cena of all time. I was a John Cena fanboy, you know, before he came to this hustle. With respect. Anyway. Um, because, you know, the Doctor of Thugonomics was more ruthless. He had this more I don't care attitude. And John Cena was like, back then, he was a modern day heel Hulk Hogan. And I say that because John Cena had strength. He still has strength. But over the years, John Cena has gotten stronger. And John Cena has always been strong since he became... Excuse me, the doctor of thugano uh, thugonomics. thugonomics. Yes. So, imagine putting a technical wrestler against a doctor of thugonomics, John Cena. I'm taking. Excuse me, I'm taking John for that one. John is just he, that. John was just great in every way I could think of. Yes, you're absolutely right. And um, James Sargent said, "Bret in his prime was great. Once his ego took over, he lost his edge." I completely I agree. agree. Because too. yes, the moment he won that. That uh, WWE title is when he's like, okay, I'm the man, you know, I get to run everything. No, you're still an athlete. You still have to perform to your best. Um, Blake's, uh, Blake says no because John was similar to Hogan. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. But the only difference was the Doctor of Thugonomics, he rapped. And he had a totally different attitude. He was a heel. So... Chris, Christopher Brown says five moves of BS versus angle submissions. I think that's self-explanatory as to who would win. Laughing my ass Wait, off. Who was that? Five Christopher moves, Brown. Five moves or... Bret Hart. That's Bret Hart. Bret Hart had five oh. moves. Of what they do. <laughs> oh, but listen, listen. Oh, okay. You can't. I, you can't knock Bret, man. You can't. It's yeah. listen. The man had a one-hour wrestling match with Shawn Michaels. I can never. That's a <laughs> long time. Never. To have, I'm a kid. I we had never. we had a match of eleven minutes, and yeah, I'm thirty eight. So come never. on, and he's he's fi uh, fifteen, yeah, so fourteen. Dad. Fourteen, I'm sorry. Four trying to get me older than I am. Just, just a little bit, just just a little bit. Um, <laughs> but what what about maybe let's say Kurt Angle in his prime against Roman Reigns? In his prime. Are we talking? Okay, I'm about to say we're not talking about the tribal chief. No. Okay. So Actually, no. Yep. I, I, yes. Let's talk about the tribal. We're talking chief. about the tribal yes. chief. Yes. More aggressive. Man. More aggressive. I don't know how you're gonna feel about this, Dad. I gotta go with the tribal chief. Well, to be honest, no. I gotta listen, go with the listen, tribal chief. Listen. And I, 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 I no, want to say why. I have been. I have been. I, I've become a fan, and I know it's kind of a bandwagon thing, but I've always wanted Roman to become a heel. I, and I even said it he's from, from the last year I said it If Roman becomes a heel I'm going to be a huge fan of his And right now I love the character he's in With Paul Heyman So imagine putting him Against this ruthless Kurt Angle The big dog The tribal chief Against Kurt Angle In a massive ring What do you do? 
That's what I'm saying. That's what I like. I, w I have never been a bandwagon. Roman Reigns has been my favorite. You know, I would boo him sometimes because of, you know, the things he would be able to do. But, you know, I've always liked Roman Reigns. He just wasn't up there. Now, I, I like Roman Reigns a lot more than I used to because they did put him as a heel. And I always wanted to see Roman Reigns as a heel just like you did. I seen him with the shield as a heel, but that's different. I wanted to see Roman Reigns as either a Paul Heyman guy or just a heel alone. And bam, no, but that we was got perfect. The wish. Exactly, no, but that was perfect. that's perfect. The 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 combination. And you know the and you know the good him. thing about it, Roman Reigns doesn't need to do the talking. Paul Heyman is there to do well, the talking. Well, okay, so we got Christopher Brown says he could see Roman winning that match. I can too. But Blake says, um, Kurt all day. I gotta go with Tribe of the Tribal Chief. Yeah. He just Blake, has a, he, it's amazing with he the, just the way, has a the, way more, that character yeah, is going. He has going, a more you know ruthless I mean? like, attitude. Like it's like like Roman Reigns is like different when I when now. I was on when I was on Recons of Wrestling yesterday with Jose G and uh, Rico, I was mentioning it. That was one of my favorite parts in wrestling this week. The stare down. That one minute you're laughing, and then next thing you know, you just that serious stare down, and then you look at Paul Heyman, and you and Paul Heyman looks at you and he nods, so like okay, it's time to come at you. Man, so, <laughs> that gave me goosebumps. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that like that, 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 that was a hell of, a, me, of, of a way to finish off the show. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta give it to Roman Reigns beating the Kurt Angle. Chief. You know what I mean? Chief. Now, like, all right. So, so here's another one. Here's another one. Lay it on me. Say we put these four men together in one match: Kurt Angle, Bret Hart, Daniel Bryan, and AJ Styles. Dead. Why you gotta do hey, this? Hey, hey, Dad! Why you gotta do hey, this to me? Hey, wait, hey, Moses, welcome, Moses. brother. It's been a hot minute, brother. He got a comment. He said, "Damn, I actually like the Tribal Chief. I really do." But Kurt was the man in his prime. Look at all the bangers he put on my on while Roman currently just shows and wins like Lester did. Uh, hello, hey, Grandma. Grandma Nancy is watching. Hello, hey, Nancy. Thank hey, you for watching, ma'am. Hey, Guys, before we continue, please feel free to share our content all over social media. Bring your friends, your cousins, your mamas, your fathers. Everybody. And, exactly. And uh, just let's bring them in and talk wrestling. Yeah. So, Jaden, we got one already. Uh, Christopher Brown says he will go with Daniel Bryan. What do you think of that? Um, I'll have to go with Kurt. I want to go with Prime... Kurt. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Kurt, I gotta take Kurt all day. I, I'm not sleeping on, I can't sleep on Bret Hart. I can't sleep on uh, AJ Styles and, you know, uh, who was the last person? Oh, yeah, Daniel Bryan. I can't sleep on all three of them because they were all dangerous threats in the ring and some of them, uh, Daniel Bryan is still even a more dangerous threat. But, you know, I gotta go with Kurt. Kurt is just a, Kurt, like Moses said, Kurt was the guy in his prime, so I gotta go with Kurt. Well, that's that's uh, that's um, it's it's tough, man. It's tough. I I, I would actually with that one. Uh, I would say I would go go with Kurt Angle as well. You know, Kurt Angle. Yep, you're absolutely right, James. Kurt Angle and AJ Styles will steal that show. That's true. For oh, sure, I agree. I For agree. For sure, 100%. they will steal that show. Mm -hmm. Like just seeing that that. That match, just thinking of that match, you know, they'll, be, it, it, they'll sell crowds out. To be completely honest, they'll, they'll sell out the crowd. They'll make the seats to be filled. Everybody will be up standing out of their chairs because no filled. Like you can, you would hear the pop right with every single move that these guys do. Right, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, um, in, uh, Kurt, Blake says in the ring, Kurt is ten times ten. Um, uh, tenth all time. I agree. Uh, let's see. James says Kurt versus AJ and TNA was great. Yes, I remember that match. That match was. That match was amazing. So, Jaden, yes. when we talk about matches like that, and we talk about a championship match. This brings us to Clash of, of the, the Champions. Champions. Clash of the Champions. This Sunday, many superstars 
going to be fighting for championship gold. Many great matches in the wrestling I'm, I'm, card. I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to three of them. I got to hear the card. Three I still them. haven't heard it yet. Three you of, you three got of to them. hear it yesterday because you were on Reekens of Wrestling. No, I'm, I didn't hear it yet, so I'm looking forward to hearing these matches right no, now. No, three of them. So, we start off with Asuka versus Selena Vega. Mm. What is your pick, guys, for this uh, match? Women's Championship match for the Raw Women's title. Gotta do like this. You know when the guys be doing the little thing with their mustache? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I already got my pick. My pick is Asuka. I, I, I don't see... I don't see... Uh, Me neither. I don't see that happening either. Uh, yeah. I gotta go with Oscar. James Sargent says, uh, Oscar wins by DQ. Disqualification? Hmm. For real? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Christopher Brown says, Oscar in a squash. I, I, I don't think they should do that to Selena Vega. You know, give her, give her a little dignity. Give her some pride. You know what I mean? But um, I, I don't, I I don't think... I gotta give it to yeah, Oscar. Like, Oscar... You know, you got to get somebody going, you know, right. you got to get some competition going for that woman. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Joseph Ford, uh, newcomer in the show. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Uh, Joseph Ford says Oscar. I agree. So, um, Oscar's the pick. Yep. Oscar's the pick. And Christopher Brown says only one reason they're putting Selena in that match because there's nobody else. <laughs> there's nobody yeah, else. There is nobody Charlotte else. Flair's injured. Becky is uh, pregnant. pregnant. So, it's, it's not going to happen. And it's a lot of rematches. Yep, it's it's that's all that's all you're gonna do. A lot of rematches. So, Oscar is the pick. Now the next matchup: the Street Profits against Andrade and Angel Garza for the Raw Tag Team Titles. Jay, I gotta go with the Street Profits. Uh, that's something we disagree on. I'm going with. Andrade and Angel Garza. You know yes, they lost that. twice. Yes, they lost twice. But I think third time's a charm. Yeah, exactly. They're going to lose three times no, a charm. No, I, I doubt that. That's not going to happen. They're going to lose three times a charm. No, that's definitely not going to happen. Christopher Brown says exactly the wrong women's roster is shallow, so they're grasping at straws. Of course. Of course. Well put. So, before we continue, guys... Um, Tell us about what you thought about this topic today with Bret Hart and Kurt Angle, which actually we're going to stop right there with the predictions because we never got their answers of who would actually win in a submission match. That is right. Who so, would win in a submission match? Kurt Angle or Bret Hart? I already got my pick. I chose Kurt Angle earlier. We well, got that. I would have to say of everything that I've seen in professional wrestling with both of these guys, would be Kurt Angle. Me too. And I say Kurt Angle because Kurt Angle was superb in the ring. Absolutely. Like his agility going on the top ropes and doing the angle slam and stuff like that. It, it was amazing. Right. Amazing. And it's just like, wow. All right. You know, we got uh, James and uh, Christopher Brown says Kurt Angle. Um, I think we're going to get a little clean sweep here that it's going to be Kurt Angle for sure. Probably. So, who? Definitely, definitely. Let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else got Kurt Angle? Who else got Kurt Angle? Anybody else? Bret Hart will make Kurt Angle tap. <laughs> I got to disagree. Really? I got to disagree. Brett. Heart will make Kurt Angle tap. Well, I, um, See, I don't know about that. I gotta disagree. I, 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 gotta, I gotta disagree. Yeah, I gotta disagree with that. I gotta disagree. That's. Um, I, I feel like it's vice versa. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think Brett. I don't think Kurt Angle would tap either. I don't think you Kurt don't Angle. think Kurt Angle no. can make Bret no. Hart tap. The who? You don't think Kurt Angle can make Bret Hart tap? Oh no, of course. Well, but Bret Hart won't tap. No, Bret Hart won't tap for real. No, I feel like Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle could do that. Kurt Angle can make. Well, if he Bret made Shawn Michaels tap, and Michaels was a legend, I don't know. It's kind of tough. I think Bret Hart is tough, man. He. They both are. I'm not even gonna. You know what? I'm not even gonna be like that. I'm not gonna be mean like that. I feel like neither one of them can make each other tap because no, they're both exactly, tough. exactly. They're both tough. They can I, make. I they, can, they made other legends tap. I get that. But I would. Those I two would. Are different. But uh, thank you, Jessica. She loves the topic. She said Kurt wins. Yes. 
Um, it, but, but we chose Kurt Angle. Kurt yes. Angle is the uh, is the winner. I wish they could have fought in their primes together. You know what I mean? Were you they know what even I mean? In their, were they even in the same wrestling time? Um, yeah, they were actually. They were. Bret Hart was, was in this, WCW. But was Bret Hart in his prime at the time? <sighs> Not really. Exactly. So then it wouldn't really. have been it, as it interesting. It would, yeah. it would have been interesting, it, but it wouldn't have been as interesting. But as I, I still remember the match Bret Hart had with Chris Benoit in WCW Nitro. I that was that was amazing. That. that was amazing. Joseph Joseph Ford says uh, Kurt Angle would win by pinfall. Of course. By pinfall. Yeah, that's because... Not tapping yeah, out. Uh, Kurt Angle would not make him tap out. Five, and, uh, Chris, like Christopher Brown said, five moves versus Kurt Angle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five moves. Hey, hey that, that's how you get it, man. I mean, but those five moves got the job done for him. Yes, yes. So, let's... That was our topic for today, fans. Thank you for giving us your input. Now, we're going to continue with these Clash of the Champions. Now, where were we? Street Profits and uh, the other team. The Street Profit against Angel Garza yeah, those and guys. Andrade. Yeah. Hey. And I'm going with Andrade and Angel Garza. My short round of a son is going for uh, the Street Profit. Oh, watch the Street Profits win. No. No. You, you want to make a bet, son? I'm gonna, how much you want to bet? You'll wash the dishes for an entire month. Yeah, you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own for that one. See, see? See, he's <laughs> not confident. He's not confident. One. All right, all right. Hmm. Hmm. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I gotta listen, think listen. Of, I got to think of one for myself. Let's just go for ego. You know what I'm saying? The street profit is good. I'm not taking anything away from the street profit. But the street profit... It's the, the, the third, gotta, third time's a charm. I gotta, I gotta wait, Dad. I gotta wait. We can settle this. Street profits have the better ego. Okay. Andrade and what's the other guy's name? Andrew Garza. Andrew Garza. They have more strength and more chemistry. Well, they but they also have some some uh, the tension. Too. They have tension. They don't but like each other. They too have much. more, but that's what makes the better tag team. Well, They're that's mad true. at each other. That's true. Take their anger out on the opponents. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. Next match, Bailey. The SmackDown Women's Champion against Nikki Cross. I take Bailey. There's no question about it. I take Bailey. But there could be. I feel like it'll be Bailey because I feel like Alexa Bliss is gonna cost it for uh, Nikki Cross. It seems like the Fiend is sort of playing mind games with Alexa Bliss. And yeah, when she hears that that Fiend, Fiend she just yeah, she just snaps. gets upset. Exactly. So when she hears the Fiend. She just snaps. Hey, Christopher. I don't know, man. We'll, we have to see this Sunday. Um, James said. James Sargent says Bailey. He's going with Bailey. So I'm going with Bailey. You know. Not li listen. I I, I wanted too. I wanted Nikki Cross to win the titles to win the title um, before. They completely messed her character. They up. just messed up her character. She talks now. When is Nick, when did Nikki Cross ever talk? I've never seen that. The Nikki Cross, I knew she, she used to yell, yes. Blake says AEW, AEW, AEW. We'll get there. Don't worry. We got something cooking with AEW. Um, Joseph Ford says Bailey would win by disqualification. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past her. That she Probably. could use a, a chair or something to uh Or we could get it could be different it could be uh, it could be the same thing with Bailey. Sasha Banks could possibly cost a match for Bailey. It could be either ways. It could be Nikki Cross can, Alexa Bliss can call, can get cost by Alexa Bliss, and Bailey can get cost by Sasha Banks. So it's either way. So we can't really tell what's gonna happen during yeah. that match. Yeah, no, it's 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 gonna be interesting because to see. Because one, uh, she hears the fiend, she just gets really triggered, and the other one, the other two, just turned on each other. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see that match. But I, I'm definitely going with Bailey. So, all right, next match we have. Sorry, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, the the women's tag team champions. Against the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan. I I don't. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I'm going with the Riot Squad. I. <laughs> me too. And the reason I'm saying that is because Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax hate each other. Like. Like literally hate each other. Like like out of the company. Yeah. Like they can't stand each other. So you know what I'm saying? Gonna... Because that's what WWE does. Wow. So right. James is going with Nyans and Shayna. I'm going with the Riot Squad. Christopher's going with the Riot Squad too. 
it, 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 I'm going with, with the Riot squad. I, yeah, I think it's their yeah. time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the uh, Ruby Riot back from she injury. She has been an absolute phenomenal wrestler since she's came back yeah. from injury. Yeah. She's been putting on a show for everyone. And I'm liking this new Ruby Riot. It's great. No, it's. I'm, I'm anxious to see those two go at it. I want to see what they can do with Ruby Riot. I feel like she has potential of being some of being more than she is now. Yes, absolutely. Next match, Jaden. Let's hear it. Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, the SmackDown World Tag Team Champions against the Lucha House Party, Kalisto, Gran Mit. Uh, Metallic and Lince Dorado. I'm going with Cesaro and Shinsuke. I'm going with that and one I, too. And I don't just say that because they're both good, but to be honest, Cesaro works good with everyone. Of course he does. Cesaro is like a team player. If you need a teammate, Cesaro is the man for that because Cesaro, yes, Cesaro may have only one wrestling style, but Cesaro works with it he works with his teammates so like shinsuke and cesaro are two different types of wrestling styles and look how good of a tag team they are so cesaro is good for having for being on a team so you already know I well, take james, james well james Sargent uh says cesaro nakamura i agree um joseph says house party all the way i don't know i, I don't know because <laughs> Because that's another thing. There's a lot of dissension going on with the Lucha House Party. What do you mean? You know, the the Kalisto is going a little on edge, maybe turning, maybe doing a heel turn. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Yeah, I, it, it's, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I want to see a heel high flyer. Yeah, I feel like Kalisto would be the perfect guy to do that too. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 absolutely. Uh, it, it's interesting to see that match, but I got to go with Cesaro and Nakamura. Yep. All the way. Uh, of course. And um, so the Christopher Brown, another one, Cesaro and Nakamura. Um, Blake says, I will say WWE still has the best women's division. Yes, on SmackDown, though. On SmackDown. Brawl. Brawl. Oh, eh. Yeah. You know, eh. Yeah, just uh, but you know. SmackDown is good. Oh yeah, SmackDown is really. They finally good. got up the PG era though. I mean, yes. they're not in, yeah, they're not in the PG era. They're now PG thirteen. <sighs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. They're anyway. just out of the PG era. Anyway, next match for the United States title: Bobby Lashley against Apollo Cruz. I gotta go with Bobby Lashley. Same here. I gotta go with Bobby, Bobby Lashley all the way. Hurt business. Yes, James, Raw sucks all together. Yes, you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, SmackDown, is the, is, the SmackDown is the show right now. I'm sorry. It, it used to be the other way around. Yeah. It used to be Raw was the show and SmackDown wasn't so yes. great, but now they've yes. changed. Christopher Brown says, oh, uh, before right. I forget, Lewis, it's been said Chelsea Green may have had COVID. Who wow. is Chelsea Green? She's a wrestler. And I, uh, it, that's that's interesting. <laughs> Chelsea, I've never heard of her. Who is that? Um, I've heard of her too. I, I think she's in uh, AEW, if I'm not mistaken, or in NXT. James says Bobby Lashley. I agree. Christopher Brown says Lashley with the help of the Hurt Business. I'm, I'm liking this Hurt Business, especially Cedric Entertainer is the heel now. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Uh, James Sargent says Zack Ryder's wife. Ah, yes, in East in uh, AEW. I think she went to AEW. Is Who, she, uh, yeah. Oh, NXT, NXT. Zack Ryder's wife. She yes, she's in NXT. What wow, happened she to Zack Ryder? Did he stop? He got wrestling? released. Oh. He got released. He's in AEW now. That's where everybody's going now. Every the AEW is the hot spot. Well, it's you know they, they they're making pretty good business, but the uh, WWE they would never be right now. Nah. Um, Joseph says the her business today, Bob, business Bobby Lashley would put a SmackDown on Apollo, of course. Listen, not taking anything away from Apollo Crews, but Bobby Lashley has the experience. I love the heel character. Brolic too. He's brolic he as hell. Muscle. Right? He, 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 I half his a, bicep is my face. I wouldn't want to pick a fight with, <laughs> with that guy. You know, so Bobby all the way. I yeah. So next match, Jaden. Yes. Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, and Sammy Zayn. And a triple, in a triple threat, threat match. ladder match. Oh man, for the Intercontinental Title. I gotta go with Jeff Hardy. Jeff Ooh. Hardy is the man for ladder matches, so I'm going with Jeff Hardy. You know the they had those two, the other two had their fair shares, but you know he used to be a former part of the Hardy Boys Team Extreme, so I'm going with Jeff Hardy because Jeff Hardy is just a master of ladder matches, tables matches, 
TLC matches. Jeff Hardy all the way. I gotta go with Sami Zayn. <laughs> what? Yep. Sami Zayn. Yep. Yeah. Why? The Sami man. Zayn. Okay, listen. Okay. The man was phenomenal in NXT. He fought the likes of Finn Balor. He fought Shinsuke Nakamura, Kevin Owens. The man had fought many great superstars in NXT. You know, he was. I believe. I believe he was NXT Heavyweight Champion too. So, it's like, why not give him his due now? Even if it's the Intercontinental Title, let him hold that Intercontinental Title that he did not lose. He never lost it. Yeah. I, you know? Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Your so point. I, see your point. I don't know. And uh, Blake says in a year, a year or two, they will pass WWE in the ratings. Nah. Not if uh, if Vince McMahon, God forbid, if the Vince McMahon is gone by then, Triple H Triple is going to take, take over, over yeah. just like he runs NXT. If he can run NXT, if no, he can run WWE honest, like he does NXT, if trust NXT, me, they're not oh, winning. They're not. They're really not. If Triple H runs WWE, there's no more competition. I'm just being no. for real. If he runs WWE like he runs NXT, there's no competition. No, absolutely not. That 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 won't fly. Yeah, and especially. Since the fact that Triple H has more experience of being in the ring, so if he was to be the manager of WWE and you know give details on like what's going on and you know give the fans what they want, that's that's easy right there. That's well, it's true what James says. There's a reason they brought back Sami Zayn. Why did they bring Sami Zayn back? To bring him back into the into the title picture. Because Sami Zayn is title title material, at least from what I think, mm -hmm. Sami Zayn can be title material. Also, oh, he can be title material. So they 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 haven't gave him him a title. They gave him a title, but you know, I feel like it's time for Sami Sami Zayn to start gunning for the WWE title. Well, I, I, no, no, I, 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 I would I wouldn't no, I wouldn't no. put it past I feel that. that. No, no, no I didn't. I, no, 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 wait. Let me finish. <laughs> Stop it. I said it is. T it's time for him to start gunning. I never said he can win it. I mean, he has potential to win that. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't sleep on Sammy like that. But he 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 needs to start gunning for that title. He needs to start working his way up there some more. If he does that, he can win that title. To be honest, he eh, maybe. No 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 not maybe. He can. Uh, James Sargent says if new if New Japan Pro Wrestling hits the U.S. market, that would be great competition for WWE. Different style and different market. Yes, that's true. You're absolutely right because Japanese wrestlers are amazing. They're great. Like they, <laughs> uh, one of the greatest of all time. Still, in my opinion, to me, the best. Well, forget greatest. One of the best, the best of all time in Japan. The Great I Muda. I, I knew it. So, but yes, Blake. Uh, let's. We're not talking about ratings right now. We're talking about the uh, Clash of the Champions. So uh, maybe uh, AEW might pass them. Who knows? You know, we we know WCW did it. So and uh, with, with the, the yeah with the technology now, AEW could probably do it too. Most likely, they're still gonna get back up there though. Yeah. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Now, Jaden. Yes. The double main event of the evening. First off, we have the Tribal Chief. 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 <laughs> Chief. I did the same thing earlier. <laughs> the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, the Universal Heavyweight Champion, against Jay Uso. Family. From the Usos. The cousin versus cousin. I gotta go with the Tribal Chief. I gotta go with Roman Reigns. Just like I said earlier, he is the man right now. So it's Roman Reigns all day. James Sargent says Roman in a squash match. I don't think they would do that to Jay. What is a squash match? Just be pretty much just kick the living Jesus out of him. Yeah, I don't think not. I don't think they would do that to Jay. Jay, Jay, Uso Jay, is, a good Jay is a good wrestler. He is a good wrestler. He just has to change his persona a little bit. But what I do, what I do see, maybe Jay joining him as a heel, as part of the Samoan dynasty. That would be nice. That would that would be nice to see, to be honest. But I would like to see another Samoan dynasty happen, especially since they're both Samoan. That would be nice. Okay, Joseph, uh, you're getting a little ahead of yourself. He said, "Hey, Uso, new champ." Um, Uso, I don't, new champ. Yeah, no, uh, I don't think so. You know, it, and Christopher that. Brown just made the good point: a competitive match, but Roman is going to come out on top, which I agree. I agree. Yeah, me too. 
you know. And James says Jimmy could interfere. We don't know where Jimmy is. Jimmy was hurt. Um, I believe he's hurt his knee or something like that. But he's been out of action for quite a while. He, this could be a comeback for him. Yeah, I don't honest. know. I don't know. It's uh, he I says be surprised Jay, he goes with Jay Uso. Yes, sir, Blake. That is the title match for the Universal Title: Roman Reigns against Jay Uso. Family against family, blood against blood. Samoan against Samoan. Tattoo but we got against tattoo. But we got Roman Reigns yeah. as the champion. And then the sure. final match: Drew McIntyre, the Claymore, against. Randy, well, I, 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 the well, legend. There you go. Killer. No, 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 no. It's the legend killer. The Randy legend, Your A. Oh my God. Oh, seriously. The legend killer. See, you hate this guy. Randy you Your hit, A. You, you hate this guy. The legend okay, killer. Okay, I'm sorry. The legend killer, Randy Orton. There you go. All right. Thank yes. you. You're happy. You're yes, happy? Okay. I am. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give us your pick on this match. Oh, Christopher Brown says Orton takes it. Um, I don't think they're going to give it to him since Drew McIntyre, you know, is still doing really good as a title. And he hasn't had the title for that that long. He's had the title, for, you know, for quite some time. But not as long as people would say or think. So they're probably going to let Drew hold it, you know, for a little longer amount of time. But after a while, if this rivalry continues... Randy Orton's probably going to take it. Well, we got Christopher Brown, James Sargent, and Joseph Ford so saying honest, Randy Orton. I'm staying neutral. I don't have a vote for this match. Oh, they, we, got, uh, we got everybody voting. We Who got knows? Everybody. Orton could take this. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. Listen, I, said, I said, Listen, I said it yesterday. I said it yesterday in Weekends of Wrestling. I'm going for Drew McIntyre, but I am not counting out. The fiend interfer interfering in this match. He, oh, he even if Orton wins, that would be a hell of a match, a rivalry even, between Randy Orton and the fiend. And they had a rivalry before when Bray Wyatt was the eater of worlds, but now Bray Wyatt is the fiend, so that would just make it more interesting. And also, Randy Orton is the legend killer, so that would just spice it up even more. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Christopher Brown says, Jaden, they want Drew to have the same build up to the title at the beginning of the next year that they that they did this year with fans in the stands. They were cheated out of it this year because of COVID. Exactly. I agree. Exactly. And uh, James Sargent James Sargent says, Old Orton wins, sets up for Hell in a Cell rematch. Wow. Hmm. Unless Drew wins, and they still have the Hell in a Cell match. So, Joseph says, I met Randy Orton. Yeah, I met him too. He's a cool guy. Big guy. Tall. Lucky. <laughs> well, this was a long time ago. You're still lucky. I uh, there. still it's, lucky. Yeah, I know. I know. You so, know. You're going to rub it in. My, it, my second favorite wrestler. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's never okay. <laughs> well, wrestling fans, our time is up. Thank you for joining us for our predictions for Clash of the Champions, as well as our topic of the night. Who was the better superstar? Who would have won a match between Kurt Angle and Bret the Hitman Hart? As always, fans, follow us all over social media, right Facebook, here. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Oh. Please feel free to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have amazing content from Fantasy Warfare, Trivia. You name it. What, what's, what's with the dancing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have TikTok as well. We uh, we just put up a new video now. My son just, he, my little boy, he, he just tore me apart. He beat so him up. He beat just me, like I know. did, you know. I beat him up. And I'm going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it, We'll see. Um, but yes, fans, next week, and this is going out specifically for Mr. James Sargent and many others that want to get involved. Next week, Evolution of Pro Wrestling Trivia 6. Say, do you guys got what it takes? Do you guys think you can win the title? He did. James Sargent, <laughs> do you think you can be the three time, three time, three time <laughs> trivia champion? Yes. What is say? It's says. It's up. Say. All right, Spanish dude. Say. Okay. What is say? We're not saying anything. We're saying a number. Says.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ok. Excuse me. Say it right. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. All See right. my son giving me Spanish lesson. Check him out. <laughs> um, Blake says, great show, even if it was if it was strong with current WWE discussion. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But tune in next week, guys. Again, Evolution of Pro Wrestling presents Trivia 6. Guys, if you got what it takes, if you think you can come up against the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling and the Wiz Kid right over here and Mr. James Sargent, who will be defending his title for a third time. Guys, he's on that throne. He is. If you got what it takes. Come on in. Show us what you can do. Tune in on Monday for our watch party, which is what we about. also I wanted to announce before we go. This month, this Sunday, I will be putting up a poll of the greatest Legion of Doom matches. You can choose them. You can vote. That is our, um, that is our way of honoring the memory of the Legion of Doom. Um, you guys can vote. Give us a good match because I am. I know you guys ain't gonna want to miss that match. So for myself, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling, and Jay, the Wiz Kid of Pro Wrestling, and from my producer and director, my lovely wife Yesenia. Thank you, fans, for watching. Tune into the Watch Party Monday and tune in next week for our wrestling trivia episode six. Have a good night, fans. <laughs>